almost like a whole herd of something. See all that movement oh, yeah, on the tree lines? Is. So close. It's pretty crazy. Keep your eyes peeled because we're out in the open. Yeah, and everything can see us. This looks like a um, good spot for lions to yeah. hang out. Yeah, there's so many things to hide behind. There's and not snakes. very much visibility. Yeah, so and let's sun. be quiet through here, I think. Okay. And just like keep our eyes open. There's a lot of things grazing around here. Yeah. Oh, wow. This whole thing is slitted. Oh, there's a really big hole here. It's like hippo tracks. They're really unpredictable. They could charge their, their mouths open at a super wide angle. Hippos can open their mouths 180 degrees because of the unique location of the hinges in their jaws. They have a lot of power in their jaws, so I have a lot of respect for them, and I don't want to invade their space. It's really deep, so maybe let's cross okay. quicker. Okay. Looks like there's a good pathway through here, though. Yeah. Is that a lodge? An old lodge, like safari lodge? I kind of want to go check it out. It's like for built shelter already. And it's probably in a good location because somebody already built it there, right? It's so. kind of spooky. You got it? Yep. This is crazy. So how old do you think, or like when do you think this was abandoned? 30, 40 years, maybe. For generations, local tribes crafted grass-rooted huts that they lived in while they fished along these waterways. A devastating drought many years ago drove them away. Pretty rickety. Um, so we have to be super careful when we're walking. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, the whole thing is shaking. Do you feel that? Yeah. This board is no bueno. Good burning material. It's not gonna fall. It's not gonna fall. I'm not sure if this will be like a good place to build our shelter. I feel like the ceilings, there aren't high enough for it to have a fire. This is old. That. This is super old and super dry. Everything yeah. in here is flammable. Yeah. So that's a problem then, because we really need a fire in our shelter. There's a lot of like wasps up here. Oh, yeah. So, so like mud wasps. Keep moving on. Yeah. This really sucks. It's nice to know that there's structure around, but we definitely can't really use it to our advantage because of the decrepit shape it's in. We're going to be spending the majority of our time in our shelter. I don't know if I want the majority of our time to be on like a yeah. piece of wood that's falling apart. Shelter. We need shelter. What are you thinking? Dude, this spot looks... OK, this feels good, right? Yeah. If this is our main dwelling area, we uh -huh. can have enclose it more. OK. I'm going to yeah. take my knife and use some of the already pre-made thatching wall. Mm -hmm. um, to put around as a barrier. That's perfect. Yeah. Marissa and Gabriel are anchoring their boma to the fishing village dock using bamboo wall sections Gabriel cut down. An enclosure of acacia tree branches with a fire inside will help them avoid being trampled by hippos in their sleep. How are you feeling? You need water soon? Yeah. Should we start a fire? I do. <laughs> Definitely a little frightening because we're right near um, all these hippos. But I feel really good about what we accomplished. You got it. <laughs> Which means water <laughs> is next. <laughs> Tastes so good. <laughs> it's so burning hot. It's so good. Oh. <laughs> this is it. We're gonna smoke elephant dung. Yeah, with a water lily straw. The Bushmen used to smoke it to suppress their appetite and also to cure headaches. <laughs> Harsh. It's super. Harsh. So harsh. Mm. 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 Wow. <laughs> Headache is gone. Yeah, it's like. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo, it's 
feel great. I've been waking up, I don't know. I haven't slept at all. There's a lot of animal noises. We just heard these crazy uh, hippos uh, doing their deep gargles all night. We have to remember that they're hippos. Yeah, we've never heard these sounds before and it is crazy. I think we're both feeling a little, uh, little crazy and overwhelmed. It's like maybe 7.30, night one is done. Um, I didn't sleep at all. Definitely have noticed a lot of aches and pains today. I'm tired, hungry, cranky. I'm not mentally prepared for this. Oh, I like that there's that pond up there that I saw. That, that might ask you, there's no like hippos in there. Did you see, uh, were there water lilies there? Mm -hmm, there were. Gabriel had a really long night last night. I'm a little bit worried about him. I think we're gonna dig up some water lilies. I'm hoping that finding food will change everything and make everything feel better. Look right here. We can have every part of the water lily, the flowers, the seeds, the stems, the pat lily pads. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You can just go right down right the down. chute. Yeah. They look more like tubers, like little baby potatoes. Yeah. But you found one. The whole thing. You can eat that. They taste like potatoes. It's just they're super yeah. starchy. Oh God, you have like a huge leech on the back of your leg. <laughs> ah! Okay, let's get out of here. He was sucking. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, gross. It's really gross out here. That freaked me out. I feel like it got a lot of blood. God, that was nasty. They're so mushy. They're very mushy. Yes. Mm. It also kind of tastes like it, it smells out there, you know? We're eating wetland. Mm -hmm. Our first meal is such a disappointment. I'm hoping that we can find like an actual food source that you want to eat and that you don't have to like gag down. I can't do this for the whole time. Mm. Whoa. What's on? What's on? Oh, it's a big spider. Where? It's coming towards you. Oh, I see it. Oh, there's a huge spider. There we go. It's in the fire. We're good. Damn. Cool. Well, I'm gonna try to sleep more. Okay, I haven't slept. of day three. Yeah, I'm just picking up some uh, heavy duty lead wood from the broken down fishing hut railings, the debris. Last night was so really uncomfortable. Right now I am feeling super exhausted. I don't know if my body can do 21 days like this. Hi, did you sleep at all? No. Oh like, no. No. I dozed off a little bit. No sleep. Sleep, water. You almost like take them um, for granted in the real world. I'm hitting a wall. Partner is not doing okay. I'm hoping I can help talk him down because I signed up to do this with somebody. I don't really want to do it alone. So, what are you thinking about today? I spotted a fig tree. Oh, nice. So, I think it'd be cool to go over there and see if we can get any figs. Okay, I really like that. It looks like a fig tree. We need to eat something substantial. It could be a really good uh, potential treasure gold mine. 
Yeah, that's a massive hippo just moving. Right by the fig tree. Right, going to the fig tree. So we're gonna have to kind of go around. Do you think it's worth it? I say yes. Okay. Will that make you? I'm like, let's. Like, ready I think to go. it would. It'd feel good. Okay. And be able to last a bit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's only day three. Like, I, I want to help him sort of change his like mental state and try to like enjoy being here. Be careful. We are upwind from anything down here, so they'll smell us. Okay. But still look for movement. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about figs as I'm like <laughs> getting hungry. But I'm also preparing for there to not be. So the, otherwise, I'm, it's going to send me, you know. <gasps> oh my god. They, they ran all the way past there. Holy f that line. It was so close. All right, heart. Okay. In this really tall grass, it can't really see much, so things can come out of nowhere. My heart just like jumped. That was totally insane. It's only day three, and it's already as real as it can get. <laughs> 